Welcome back everyone to the topic of the week. And the topic of the week this week is anxiety and fears and how they are interconnected. So when we think of anxiety, we think of this one thing. It is anxiety, we feel anxious, we are triggered and it feels horrible. But it's actually a fear, right? We're feeling fearful, we're in alertness, we feel flight or fight. I need to protect myself. I feel unsafe, I feel unprotected, I feel insecure. And bringing up insecurity, there are a lot of people that are insecure, that feel like they're not good enough, smart enough, slim enough, pretty enough, rich enough, all the enoughs, that they are not valuable enough, that they're not worthy, that they have all of these flaws, that causes anxiety. Let's say you're going out for a meal and you're with your friend and you walk into the restaurant and you get instant anxiety because you get eyes on you, you're being, well, this is what you may feel. This is how you interpret it. Everyone is looking at me. Oh God, is my dress down? Oh, is it too high up? Is it too short? Do I look a bit? Mm. Oh no, is my makeup all right? Oh, I shouldn't have worn the suit jacket. Oh God, I should have. It's all of these fears of we're not good enough. We're not pretty enough. Ah, and it puts us into the state of anxiety. So sometimes when people are like, I have social anxiety, let's, Let's figure out why, right? Are you fearful of being contaminated or getting germs from other people? Or are you fearful of being criticized? Are you being fearful of being judged, rejected, abandoned? All of those fears can cause anxiety. So when we can uh, unveil it and, and sort of bring, uh, find out what that belief is, what, what the cause is, then we can go back into the past, into your subconscious mind, into your childhood and find out how did this start? Why did you get this belief that you don't feel good enough? Why, where did you get this belief from that uh, you aren't slim enough or pretty enough and so on? Let's, let's find out. And that's what we will do in an RTT session, which is based on hypnosis. It's a very mild and light trance and you are in complete control of your actions, your mind, your body, your thoughts and so on. So if there's anything that you don't want to share, then you don't have to do that. You can make a conscious choice and say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to tell you what that is. And that's okay. That's absolutely fine. I can't make you do anything you don't want to. And that's the difference, right? When we watch hypnotists on, on telly, it's, it's quite scary. It's like, oh my God, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna be doing that and embarrassing myself and feeling ashamed afterwards. And I actually, I really disagree with this kind of entertainment. I feel that it, it's, I find it's very unethical, but that is another, that is another topic. So again, my light has gone off. I may need to invest in a new one. <laughs> So speaking of investing, actually, we're just going to leave that off. Speaking of investing, a lot of people get anxiety and feel very stressed when they think of money. I don't have enough money. There isn't enough money. What if the money runs out? What am I going to do? That is another fear, the fear of not having enough, not having enough love. What if my boyfriend leaves me? What if my girlfriend abandons me or cheats on me? That would make me feel not good enough. That would make me rejected and small and scared and sad. And that causes me anxiety. So there's a lot more to it. We, we, we kind of summarize all of this stuff, all of these fears into one blob, which is anxiety, because that's the feeling. You're feeling anxious. But actually, there's so much more that we need to unpeel and unravel. And that's what I love to do. And actually today I was driving in the car and I had a very nervous driver behind me who was obviously in a rush and I was like, la 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 la, very relaxed, driving along, driving my son to school. And in the past, I would have been very triggered. Having a massive car behind me going even closer and closer, that would have made me nervous and anxious, oh God, I feel out of control, I feel powerless, they're, they're intimidating me, oh, I, I best pull over, and that's where we start making mistakes, that's where we start fidgeting, looking around, we get nervous, our mind goes blank, and if you are suffering with anxiety, this is very normal that you get a sort of brain fog, because it's like all your blood is rushing down to your legs, because it's like a 
you need to go and and, and run away. This is a this is a, a fight or a flight response. So your body, there is no, there's there's nothing up here for you to think clearly. So that's why it happens when you have a panic attack, when you're speaking in public and your mind just goes blank because you're nervous. That is why, because it's like your body saying, run, run away. So it's hard to be able to think very clearly in that moment, but there are reasons, there are causes for why we have this. And another thing that I wanted to mention, I wanted to give you guys some homework, which I love doing. So I've noticed that a lot of people say, my anxiety, <clears throat> can you help me with my anxiety? My anxiety has been really bad this week. I'd like your help. And then the first thing that I like to say is do not call it my anxiety. It is not yours. It is something negative. If you're talking about your child, your husband, your, your dog, whatever your uh, favorite ring, then please say my, but don't say it um, in front of something that is so negative. We want to completely untangle and disconnect you from this identity that you are someone with anxiety. So your homework is to change your vocabulary for the next week. And if you hear yourself saying, you can use this for anything, by the way, it's not just about anxiety. My depression, my addiction to smoking, my, my addiction to booze, my whatever the negative, the, the issue is afterwards, do not say my. I want you to say the. The anxiety that affects me has been really bad recently. And I know you're, you're making the sentence longer, but it doesn't matter because your mind is very literal and it takes everything very literally. So if you're saying it's my anxiety, then it must be yours, so it must stay, right? Do you see, do you see the logic in this? And I feel like it's very clear, it makes a lot of sense. So even if you have noticed yourself saying my, just gently correct yourself, don't give yourself a hard time, it takes time to get used to it, and just say, oh, it's not my, is it? It's the, it's the anxiety has really bummed me out. I don't feel very well today. The anxiety and so on. And you can do this with anything that's affecting you that is now my debt. No, we will not say my debt. The debt sucks. The debt that I have, but never say my. And this brings me onto the topic about money. If you are fearful of money, of not having enough money, you're gonna run out of money then you're going to get anxiety. There are so many people who are suicidal, who have taken their lives purely exactly because of this reason. There isn't enough money. My security, my safety, my protection is completely gone and is one of the biggest causes for anxiety. There is a reason for it. Let's go back into your past and find out why. Why are you insecure? Why do you have this belief that money is gonna run out? And then we're going to flip over all of those beliefs. Anything that comes up in this RTT session, any of these limiting negative beliefs that we don't want anymore, we're going to flip them around. You are more than good enough. You are complete. You are worthy. You have more than enough money and you attract it every single day. Blah, 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 blah. You feel confident. You adore and love your curvy, feminine, sexy body or your masculine body. Whatever it is that you need to say, you need to hear to be free, to be confident, to be filled with light and love. Because once you feel good, everything else just, just comes on top of that. I notice it when I feel good emotionally, then my skin is nicer, my body feels, feels slimmer, uh, money flows, everything is on a roll. But the moment there's some kind of insecurity, something's going on, everything just, everything just goes, whoa you know? So be that change, be that person that says, you know what, this person is triggering me, my girlfriend criticizes me a lot and it causes me anxiety. And that's probably because you have an insecurity. I'm not excusing that kind of behavior, but there is something that you can do. You can strengthen yourself. You can completely release those fears, those insecurities, those, those, those fears of being judged, criticized, and so on, and become that confident, lovable person that you're always meant to have been and that you were born with because you were born complete. You were born more than good enough. You're not incomplete. So book your free call on leliahypnosis.com. I would love to help you out. I'm always here for you. And if you have any other questions, you can contact me on my website. All my love.